Today's video is kindly sponsored by Crate and Barrel. Hello everybody and happy fall. It is so random that I actually started filming this video on this day. Right before actually pulling up the camera, I Googled when the first day of fall was and it is September 22nd. And today is September 22nd. I am starting to film my fall apartment transformation, which is honestly one of my favorite videos every single year to film. I absolutely love transforming my space for fall. It is just my favorite time of year. And I feel like the color palettes and vibes that you get from fall are always just so cozy and good. And guys, when I got this email and my email saying that Crate and Barrel wanted to sponsor today's video, I was shook to the core because I love Crate and Barrel and that is just a dream brand to be working with. I have a ton of Crate and Barrel boxes right here all the way to the ground, you guys. There is a bunch of them. They sent so much stuff and I actually don't even really know what's inside of the boxes. Basically, we're going to be enhancing the space for fall. I'm not going to be getting any new furniture pieces. I love all the furniture in my living and dining areas, which are basically going to be the main areas that I'm actually going to be decorating just because I can add a couple pops to the kitchen. I've already done my best bedroom so the dining and living area which are pretty much connected but these are the spaces that I feel like a lot of people do see if we have a guest over this is the area that we all spend time in so I want to elevate this area for the fall season and the first thing I want to do actually is break open our crate and barrel boxes let's see what they sent because it's kind of going to be the determining factor to the wall color I'm going to be using which wall color yes you guys I'm going to be doing a little bit of painting in here a little scared but also excited so let's break open these boxes and see what's inside I grabbed my box cutter because we have a lot of packages to open. This is exciting. I think we're just going to start off at the top and I'm going to share with you guys everything that they sent over, which is also exciting for me. I'm really happy to look into all of these. Also for everything, I'm going to link it all below for you guys in the description box. If you want any of these pieces, take a look there. I'm going to have everything linked that they sent along with the proper names of everything over the top. The first thing we have here is a reed diffuser. This is in the cinnamon, tobacco, and patchouli scent, which is perfect. Very fall vibes to me. So this is going to set the tone. Ooh, you guys a candle and it smells so good. I believe this is from a new collection. Yeah, the Shinola Detroit collection. This is such a pretty candle. These were cool. I actually saw these on their website and I was kind of interested in using them some way. So these are called acai canoes and I believe they're actually like pieces from an acai tree, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them. I just thought they were really cool. I thought I could use them on a shelf in some decor, maybe stack them up like this or something just for like a little natural element. Oh, I'm excited you guys. This is a wood vase. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. This is gonna look so good in the dining room or maybe on top of the mantle. Here's another. A little baby. Look at it. The set, and I love how they're reversed. So good for styling. Oh, I got a table runner because I thought it would be nice to add like a little bit of fabric to the table. I just opted for this kind of simple linear pattern. Very simple, and there's a great base for styling. I got a couple packs of this driftwood bowl filler because I thought it was super pretty. I love the natural tones in there. I thought this would be great to, you know, add in a bowl if I'm doing a centerpiece on the dining table or even if I just have like a little bowl on the coffee table or something. Oh, this is a heavy one. Oh, you guys, this is a statue that I saw. It's gonna look so good. I'm obsessed. It has like this black wood at the top and then this like white stone almost and then a little wood base at the bottom. So cool. Ooh, I think you guys are gonna love this piece here because when I saw it, I knew we needed it. We as in all of us. <laughs> it is this candle holder. I love this. I just love the shape of it. I think it's great for shelf styling. Again, it holds two tapers here. Let's see what this is. Okay, Crate and Barrel coming through with these sculptural pieces. It has this great texture on the front of it. I love the circular shape here, the kind of the cone shape at the bottom. It's just really interesting. A few more taper holders here. These are a bit more simple and classic, but I love the hammered detail on them. I think that just what elevates these pieces. And I got two different sizes to style, most likely on the mantle, I'm thinking. Oh my gosh, this candle, you guys. I'm smelling it right now. The scent is rustic pumpkin. How cute is this? It's also in a little copper canister. I absolutely love this. I got a lot of shelf styling elements because I really want to restyle my entire dining room shelf so I also got this little arch here not too sure what I'm gonna do with it probably just pop it in there just as like an additional decor element but I love arches in any type of way 
And the other big box, you guys, was a table lamp that I ordered because I want to use this next to my couch as like a, on top of the side table. I got two packs of these birch logs because if you guys remember, I have that vintage like firewood holder over by my fireplace area and I wanted to put some birch logs in them and Crate and Barrel had them. And then lastly, I just got a couple of these stems here. This is a maple stem, which is so beautiful. I love how sparse it is. And then I also got these great stems as well. How beautiful are these for fall? They're like in these rusty orange colors. And this stem is humongous. Like it would be great to kind of style maybe on my mantle. And that is everything Crate and Barrel sent along for this video. I am so excited to dig into the stuff and start styling it in my space. I think it's going to be an absolutely incredible. And if you guys are in the market for any holiday decor, whether it be for fall, Thanksgiving, entertaining, Christmas, kitchen goods, whatever it is, Crate and Barrel has you covered this holiday season. So definitely check them out using the link in the description box below. And I'll also make sure to link all of my items, you guys. I'm going to just start organizing my items, getting them together and I'll catch in with you guys when we have our next steps. Welcome to my dining room. This is an area that I actually frequent quite often. I work at this table 24 seven and I love, love, love a space because it gets so much natural light and it's just right off the living room. However, I've had this Navy accent while I'm here for a long time. This is actually one of the first spaces I redid in my entire apartment and I adore this color. It is called Hail Navy by Benjamin Moore. And the thing about changing this color that's very scary is I don't know if there's a color that can look better than this color in here because the blue against the orangey tone wood floor is so contrasting and beautiful so I'm just hoping the new color I'm going for is gonna look nice in here I just want to change things up you guys and paint can always be changed back it is such an easy easy change but the first thing we need to do clear out the space and put on some painting clothes there we go I'm in my painting clothes and my painting shorts can you tell I'm in my painting shorts they have paint all over them essentially, but this is a wall we're painting you guys. I just realized I didn't even tell you guys what color I'm painting this. So I got my swatches. These are a little bit of a daring swatch options, honestly, you guys. They're completely different than what's currently on the wall there. And it's a lot of red tones. And I kind of narrowed the red colors down to these two here. Now this one here was my first favorite option. This is called Copper Mine by Benjamin Moore. And I love this color. It's deep, it's rich, it's bold. And it reminds me basically of a red toned version of this blue, but I kind of wanted to not go the safe route and so I found this color which this one's called copper kettle here you can kind of see the variation in the two funny enough one of my big inspos actually for this wall color was this bench here which I actually bought this from CB2 years back I've had this since I lived in downtown so I probably had it for like six or seven years but it's definitely like a dark unsaturated kind of reddish orange color and I've always loved that so I kind of thought it'd be a fun option for this space so let's go ahead get to painting and we're probably gonna do two coats of the copper kettle color I also got this in a flat if you guys are curious I typically always do flat or eggshell when it comes to paint let's open up our color and check it out I am gonna be honest with you guys I'm a little nervous about the color in comparison with the floor because they are pretty similar but I still have hopes for it like I still think it will be different enough. This of course is coming off a little bit brighter in camera, but the color is beautiful. Just on first glance, I am obsessed with this color. I am terrified this color. Okay, it's neutralizing a bit. It goes on so orange, but another reason why I think it's going on so orange is because it's on top of its literal complementary color, which is blue. So blue is definitely gonna make that orange pop so much more. But if I kind of put this over here in the white area, you can see how it's more of a neutral color. It's not super bold and bright in your face. So I'm hoping once I have all the blue covered and two coats is on, it's gonna kind of give me that look that I'm going for. But you know what, we're risking it today. Kind of fun. The sun is setting and I want to share with you what this wall looks like. It looks absolutely incredible. I was so, so nervous as I was painting it because it was looking pretty orange. It definitely needs a second coat, which I'll do tomorrow. As the full coat has dried, it looks 
amazing. It's a little dark at the moment, but how great does that color look? I am obsessed with this. I was kind of going after a color similar to this kind of blanket tone right here, but a little bit more brown, a little bit more neutral so I can transition it into winter as well. I didn't want something too red, and I feel like this is that perfect balance of in-between, and I just love it. So I'll catch you guys back in the morning. Gonna do a second coat tomorrow morning, and then we can start styling. Good morning, guys, and I have had a great start to my morning. I actually deleted my entire camera card with all the footage I've been filming for the past three hours. I'm not too mad because this dining room area, which is what I actually finished in that three-hour section, was a fun space to style, and at least I have an idea for what I'm doing now. I applied a second coat of paint this morning. It is already dried, and I am obsessed with this color, you guys. Look at it. It's almost like a coppery, mauve browny, terracotta toned red. It's just a really interesting color. Again, it has copper kettle, but I do think it's a great backdrop for this area. I do want to go ahead and move in my media console and put the mirror up on the wall. Okay, mirror's up and our console is down here. It looks incredible. The black really pops on this background color there. And a couple of other things that I actually already did this morning as well, where I went ahead and I sliced up a couple of oranges. I wanted to go ahead and dry those out in the oven because I want to do a little bit of a DIY, either garland or centerpiece. I love that like natural look for fall. So I dried out some of those in the oven. It's just taking me about two and a half to three hours for those to dry out. You cut them at a quarter inch thick place them on a baking sheet with a little bit of cooking spray and you are good to go. So while that's all baking in there, I'm gonna go ahead and start styling these shelves back here actually because while the table's out of the way, it's just so much easier to like access the shelving unit and we're gonna be using a bunch of the crate and barrel decor that they sent over. I am so excited to see what these shelves are gonna look like. This color is just incredible. So let's get some decor on them. This bookcase has never looked better, you guys. I am obsessed with the styling. I love the pops of metallic in here too. I think that because this is kind of like a coppery hue, I think it's fun to have those metallic pops. We have some brass there, this beautiful kind of copper candle from Crate and Barrel. And of course I used a bunch of their decor. I used their taper holder, these beautiful ombre vases. I also used the acacia pieces, which I kind of just stacked like that and created kind of an interesting, more longer silhouette on the bookcase there. The statue up there, which I love, and then this amazing, diffuser along with this arched decor piece and I think all around everything just looks perfect together very seamless but I want to go ahead and bring a rug into this space because I have a couple of options now it is not common for people to have a lot of rugs in their house but I actually get rugs sometimes sent to me in PR I will get home and there will be a rug on my doorstep a full-on 8x10 rug there's been two and three of them sometimes where brands will send them and I'm like what am I gonna do with all of these rugs but I normally either store them in my garage or I store them in my Lone Fox room and I have a couple to share with you now the one that I have down on the floor right now was actually the one that I've used in my living room since I did that makeover. It is such a beautiful kind of Turkish style rug. I love this one. The thing I do like about it for the space is it has a lot of the same kind of pinky coppery tones as the wall. The thing I don't like though is that there's a lot of blue in here, like the sky blue color. However, I think it could actually look good. Maybe if I put the table on top of it and the chairs, it's gonna really distract from the rug because those are pretty large furniture pieces going over top. Look how prominent that blue is. Literally all the pink is gone. So this is definitely not the rug for here. All right, so here's our second rug option. And some of you guys might be familiar with this rug because this was actually an option that I was gonna use in my living room makeover. So I'm kind of wanting to use this in the living room area because I don't have much fall decor for the living room. So I feel like this will totally make an impact in there. So let's bring the striped rug in in three, two, one. Alrighty, so this is our gray striped rug, which is just the rug that I've had in the dining room since I got the dining room, and I loved this rug so much with the navy blue wall, just because I felt like the navy blue and the rug just kind of added a masculine edge. Ideally, I would probably use more of a natural rug, something maybe like a jute, just something more of a natural fiber. This one to me just seems a little stark in contrast with the wall there, but I do think it's gonna work totally fine for this space. Let's move the table back on and the chairs and do a little table styling. 
So I have this frame here. Now, if you guys remember, this was actually a frame that I got at the thrift store, but it was originally brown and I painted it gold and added in this artwork behind it. But I want to change up the artwork. It's been in my storage room for like a couple of months now and it's so pretty. So I'm going to open this up. Oh my God, gorgeous. I literally got these online, just digital prints. This one is so pretty, you guys. It has like a pond, it has some trees, and I love the painted look of it. And then this one's more of an autumn scenery. I got one landscape and one portrait style because I wasn't sure which orientation I wanted to do. I went ahead and framed the artwork here and I laid down the previous art just over the top to protect it. I'm so happy I finally got around to utilizing this larger frame again because it's been so beautiful, but it's been sitting in my loan box room for months, just having nowhere to go. So I put it up on the wall here. And if you guys remember, this frame here was actually the one that that guy at the thrift store ended up giving me. A guy in the thrift store saw that I was carrying that little frame I was just showing with you. And he said that he had a frame in his car that was very yeah. similar and he wanted to give it to me. Yeah. This guy inside gave me this frame. I mean, it's not the same. It's not the brass filigree frame I had, but I mean, it is a cute frame. And he gave it to me. He's like, you know, I have one of those in my car. I just took the painting out of it. If you want it, I can go get it for you. And I was a little scared at first. I thought he was gonna like maybe steal me. Um, but I mean, he brought it inside the store and gave it to me and it's cute. I ended up using that one on top and kind of creating a stacked look. Now I do think that this area, it just needs some form of tree right here, whether it be like a little faux tree or a real tree or just something in this area. Everything's very blocky at the moment. So I want to add like a little bit of movement over there. So that's an option. But I do want to go ahead and lay down the living room rug to kind of get an idea for the space and see what we're working on in here because I do need to go out and get a couple of items. I brought the other rug into the living room and I love the colors in this rug. It is so pretty and I don't know if you guys remember but I literally went with this rug originally for this living room and I did not like it at the time it could really show you how much you could change your mind about things and I think it's gonna be a great base for this like fall living room I think the tones are perfect so not everyone in the world has an additional coffee table but I actually had this second coffee table in my Lone Fox room it was stored under my filming desk I've actually had it under there for quite a while because it was the first piece of furniture I bought for this apartment and I loved it so much but it just didn't really go with my living room at the time but now that I changed the rugs I'm changing up the style we're going into fall and winter I feel like adding even more warmth and bringing this coffee table in could be a great option I've had the plaster one that I created, which was such a hit or miss in some people's eyes. It just depended on if you like that look or not. And I personally do, but I do think that for the kind of design style I'm going for in the living room, it's just gonna be a bit too stark in here. So um, I'm gonna transfer it over and see how it looks. All right guys, so this is what the orientation looks like with the wood coffee table. And I love this coffee table. I love the details on the legs there. There's a lot of wood happening in here at the moment, as you can see, but I do love this. I do think it's gonna be a great base for some styling. Now I wanna go ahead and add some throw pillows to the sofa and get an overall look for the color palette in here and start styling the coffee table a bit. All right, guys, let's style a coffee table together. I've never actually styled a larger one in my place. Actually, in general, I never have. But I have an idea of what I want to do. I do know that I want to ground my coffee table with this large, round vessel. I think this is so cute. So I'm gonna be putting that there. And then inside of my vase, I'm actually going to add this Japanese maple stem from Crate and Barrel. It is so beautiful. I love the orange against this kind of soft blue color. And I'm just gonna pop that in. And I almost wanna create sections around my coffee table. So I'm gonna put a book here. This is gonna be one section. I'm then going to add two more books over in this section, kind of directly across. That's gonna be our second section. And then right here, I'm actually gonna add this beautiful bowl. This is like a plastic bowl. I got this at the thrift store actually. And I'm going to add this 
right here. And then our section closest to the couch, of course, we're gonna want accessible things. So something like this, which is our Shinola candle from Crate and Barrel. So cozy, so we're gonna add that there. And a couple of coasters as well. And then over on this book here, I'm actually going to add this man candle, which is so funky and different, but I love how it almost acts as a statue, but it still is a candle. So I'm gonna pop that there. And my incredible follower, Floor, actually made this. And then right next to that, I'm going to put this little uh, match container that I created a while back right there. And then inside of our bowl, just because I don't wanna leave it empty, Crate and Barrel sent along these great driftwood fillers. So I'm just gonna put those right inside of our bowl. And I'm not sure if we're gonna need both, or maybe just, honestly, just one will be great. And you guys, that is the styled coffee table. Look how cute that looks! That is the perfect base for the fireplace. I'm gonna add all of the other styling elements. Guys, this is the styled mantle, and I think this is my favorite way I have styled my mantle. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day three, the final morning of this fall apartment transformation. Of course, I'm filming the intro in the mantle area. This is my favorite mantle styling I think I've ever done. It just is perfect, and the crate and barrel piece over here just makes it. Now, today I wanna go ahead and finish up a lot of just the last minute details. We have all the large pieces in place. A lot of the styling has been done, but there's just a couple of tweaks I need to make, and the first one is actually over in the dining room area. I want to style the table and create like a little tablescape, because this year, I am hosting Thanksgiving at my apartment, which is going to be definitely a little bit different. And when I say hosting, I'm literally having my parents and brothers come over. So it's not like some crazy party or anything, but I do want the tablescape to look kind of cute and you know, presentable for that area. And Crate and Barrel sent along some great pieces for the table. So I'm gonna start over there and work on the tablescape, kind of get that sorted out. And then we can work on a couple other areas. All right, I am not gonna lie. This little centerpiece that I did with fresh flowers is actually probably the best floral arrangement I've ever done. I think it actually looks really cute and I love the colors in relation to everything else. So what I also wanna do is add a couple of taper candles to each side just to again, create a little bit of a vibe. So I have a couple of taper candle holders. All of them are from the thrift store or vintage. Um, I think one or two of them is just a random one I've had sitting around. So I'm gonna add those to the table as well. All right, guys, I'm almost done. We just have one last, it's literally one last thing I wanna place in here and the entire space is gonna be done. And that's on this little table back here. If you guys remember, I got this at an estate sale a while back and it's always had like a pot with some olive branches in it. But I want to utilize this now for the incredible table lamp that Crate and Barrel sent me. This is the Esfera table lamp. Their shipping times are great, but the shade itself, it just happened to not come by the time I was filming this video. So I'm gonna use a different shade and I'll pop up a photo of what the actual table lamp looks like here so you guys can get an idea. It is so cute and I wanna put it over in the corner here and I'm just gonna pop on this shade. I got this at the thrift store a while back. Actually, McKenna did and I never gave it back to her. Sorry, McKenna. I'm just gonna use it because it works perfectly with this light and it looks really cute. It is time to reveal my living room and dining room with you guys, which I am so excited about. I love every single change I made in here and I am absolutely in love with the final outcome of both spaces. I love the dining room, I love the living room, and it just feels so much more warmer and cozy. And all around, I am just excited to be living in here for the next couple of months while it's fall. So let me go ahead and reveal it to you right about now.
my fall makeover. I want to thank Crate and Barrel so, so much for sponsoring today's video and sending over all of their incredible holiday products. If you guys are out on the market for anything holiday, whether it be tablescapes, decor, bedding, really anything at all, Crate and Barrel has you covered. And I'm going to link absolutely everything that I used in my video in the description box below in case you guys want to go take a look. All around, their pieces really made a huge impact. So if you guys would like to be a part of the Lone Fox family, make sure to click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you are notified whenever I upload brand new videos. It is 100% free and you guys can also follow me over on Instagram. It is Lone Fox Home and my TikTok is also Lone Fox Home as well. And I'm not going to keep you guys here for much longer. We had a fun three days of decorating. I'm honestly ready to watch like Hocus Pocus or something. I am so excited to sit in this living room and just enjoy it. So I'll catch you guys in my next one. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Bye everybody.